Okay, so we're going to demonstrate how to create uh, irregular uh, grid maps um, for for the uh, these birds in Italy. For the irregular grid map that you sent me, which is here, I'm going to change the projection to WGS84 to match the um, CRS of the data that are in the CSV file. So here I am using the Biorec tool to open the CSV file and generate the point maps. So let's set the X and Y to longitude and latitude. Set the tax on um, column to your scientific names. And we'll set the um, output CRS to WGS84. Select all of the taxa. And set it to batch map mode so that we generate individual um, point maps for all of the species in that CSV file. Now, the script you're going to see working later on works on only on permanent shape files, not on these temporary layers. It's just a quirk of the script. So, we're going to use the new features of the Biorec tool to save them all as shape files. So, we set the output folder. The CRS is set to the CRS of the canvas, that's OK. Set shape file, and here we uh, click the save button, so they're now being saved as permanent shape files. So that we get rid of all the layers, the temporary layers, and open up the permanent shape files. So this is the folder we save them to, so we select them all, Control A, open them all. So there we are, we've got um, permanent shapefiles, proper shapefiles of all the points, and we're going to use those now with the script which I've written to for you. So this is what I emailed you, so you need to um, open the um, console, Python console, from the plugins menu up there, and then go and open the script which I sent you. So after you've unzipped that script, you open it up using this button up here. And you um, will only need to make one or two edits to this script. Uh, if you've changed the, the name of the grid file, then you have to change that name at the top there. But you probably haven't. But what you will need to change is the path to the, the, the output folder where you want the actual grid maps for each species to be saved. So you'll need to edit that line there. And when you're happy with it, you can just uh, run the script using the run button. So here we've got the individual uh, grid maps being generated for each species up here. So we're going to end up with a lot of um, layers there all displayed at once. Uh, the quickest way to, to show some of them is actually to remove them all from the display and then just open a few. So that will be um, what I'm going to do. So there, it's a bit of a confusing display. Rather than uncheck them all individually, I'm just going to remove the whole lot now. Point, point and grid maps. But these are all permanent layers, don't forget, saved on your drive. So after getting rid of them all to clear out the display, get rid of the console tool, I'm just going to open a few of these shape files now. I'm going to open the ones for thrushes, turdus species. So here we are, the grid ones. And then you've got some individual distribution maps aligned um, to the grid. And if you look at the um, the attributes with the um, attribute table tool, you can see that the script has actually only just left two attributes in there. It's deleted out a lot of the, the nonsense attributes made by by the processing function. But we've got count in there, which is the number of records in each square. And we've got um, the maximum breeding status. So here we're doing a categorical style on the breeding status. So this shows the breeding status, which got random colours, but you can just do a better one yourself. And here we're going to do a graduated style based on the counts so of the number of records uh, in each square. So there you go. Hope that uh, fits the bill, Marco, and uh, good luck with it.